Well, folks, welcome back to Marvel Hero 2015. We're looking at Hawkeye again because uh, last episode just wasn't that thrilled with what was going on and stuff. So uh, basically what I did was I uh, used one of my um, recon devices to reset all of his skill points and put them back in. So what I did was I maxed out the Claymore turret, of course, because that's like the signature power. does lots of damage. Really good. So very happy with that. Then I maxed out his passive power for the archer to give him extra piercing chance. So it's up to 48% chance to pierce, which means it'll go through an enemy into another one. I maxed out the three round burst, and then I decided instead of going with the triple arrow to go back to just the normal arrow that I start with because um, it ends up doing more damage than the triple arrow because the triple arrow only does like 1100 to 1400 times 3 so it's like 3400 to 4600 so I maxed uh, put quite a few points in the serrated arrow I put a bunch into precision aim here which would give us extra um, critical rating etc etc and a couple points in the combat training here just to, for the I don't really care about the melee powers. That's what I was talking about last time. They got a bunch of melee powers. The only melee power I really use is this um, charge forward with the bow, which is kind of his little leap around the battlefield power. Uh, the rest of them just... <sighs> I guess this is a range power there, but that's a melee, that's a melee. And our next one up is a melee stealth power. Um... And then I took all of our points out of Explosive Arrow, Freeze Arrow, and uh, put those points into other things. So uh, we're trying him again, see if uh, see if he does any better. As I mentioned last episode, after these last patches, I really think they, um, they cut the spawn time down in all of these uh, different locations. And uh, you literally get swarmed with these enemies. And then, uh, not only that, but you have... Uh, you have, uh, I think they made the bosses tougher. I'm not sure what they, exactly they did, but uh, they seems like they did some pretty drastic changes there and everything. I do have this little electric cube power here is um, electric arrow. I did, I did have a point or two to spend, so I put it into that. I don't use it very often unless there's a bunch of enemies that are close together. But I'm figuring if I'm going to have that, I might as well just use my little wave of arrows because that's going to do a lot more damage. And here comes another group of enemies in. Zoom out a little bit. Alright, we got our uh, signature power up. Does some pretty good damage. Plus it'll take out all those yahoos that came in were fighting me and notice our uh, see his oh there's spider-man and is still alive there this is her single shot arrow I mean just her basic power seems like um, does a lot better than that triple shot. Yeah, we took these guys out pretty good. A little bit more reasonable than we did last time. It uh, definitely had an advantage that we had uh, we had an enemy here or uh, ally here to help us uh, kill him, which is always a good thing. I got my finger on the wrong button here. This is coming to me. I cannot tell you guys at home, if you haven't played this, having these other guys pop in and play with you um, can really save the day because the enemies will uh, concentrate and attack them. You can see this is our Hawkeye Shades here. We have a 3% chance to call in the other Hawkeye. So in our case, it's Kate Bishop. If you're playing the female Hawkeye, you will obviously summon in Clint Barton. Um, so we have that. We have um, 
one of these guys gives us a chance to bring in, there it is, 5% chance to summon a frost giant in. Um, I don't think any of our artifacts do that, but I think one of our artifacts actually was giving us some, um, nope, I think I chose against that. Um, and we just completed our, there we go. So we're up to uh, 472 Odin Marks. We can start uh, putting some blessings on these here. Maybe that might help a little bit. Everything is going to... Every little thing seems like it's going to help this guy out. He doesn't seem uh, a great solo guy. If you've got uh, some friends or you're hanging out in areas where there's lots of um, allies. Obviously that's probably a lot better. So you can see this uh, lunge does pretty good damage, actually, for a little lunge forward power. I just didn't want to use all the last little bit of powers. I figured if we got, uh, we unlocked this power, we'd have a few extra to spend on it. Let me look at our roster here, our team up here. Let's look at this guy and find out what is, yeah, see, I got him on uh, infinite, so we should stay with this until he gets defeated. Hmm. Oh, he's got no health regen. I'll have to look and see if I can get some new items maybe for him. Let's see if that might help. But uh, I haven't had a problem with him up until this last patch. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it was something they changed in the patch or... I'll have to check on the patch notes for you guys. But you can see he seems like he's doing much better now. Let all these guys get out of the ground before I summon our... There's another Halloween. There we go. Our little signature power will literally take all these guys out. Pretty much. Unless, of course, they weren't summoned. We use our little wave of arrows here. Pretty good power there now. Much much happier with him. It took us a little while to get him working right. Gosh, if you guys would have seen, um, if you guys would have seen what we were do dealing with from level 30 to uh, Doctor Octopus. Okay, from level 30 to 40 when we had <clears throat> no items, it was uh, it was horrible. Uh, let's see, Dr. Octopus, right? Yes. We've already done this guy once. You can see all the ones we've done. We've done, uh, the Subway, the Kingpin Warehouse, the Taskmaster Institute, and the Church of Purification. <coughs> all, um, all with Hawkeye, recently, um, with these little Halloween bonuses they have running... So we've completed this, so we won't obviously get another uh, cube shard for that. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to go for the loot anyways. Alright, do you think you can get in the game now there, Spider-Man, and stay in the game? Let everybody get together. Uh, you're not even worth wasting my... Shut him up. Let's do it again. Ooh, collateral damage. Alright. Yeah, that's a little wave of arrows. This does a little bit more damage than it used to, that's for sure, so. Alright. Yeah, and having these giants and everybody to. Especially with the enemy bosses, can uh, literally save your life. Alright, I'm done messing with you guys. You're just slowing me down. Get a little uh, electrocute arrow there. Let you guys see some of that. Might have to put a couple points in that because that's actually 
does a pretty good job, but uh, I still think this wave of arrows can be much better. An easy win. And see, um, Spider-Man's dead already. Not dead, but defeated. He's got a timeout before he'll come back. So I, I think they nerfed all the team, well, at least Spider-Man um, team up. Don't seem like they're uh, as tough as they used to be. Come on, everybody get together. There we go. Come on, everybody. There you go. And because you saw that big area of effect there that that power does. Um, anything for me that says like every time you hit an enemy gain this do this that's really good for me because obviously the whole time that thing is blasting all those enemies I can go from like no spirit all the way up to full spirit I should be using that power more like when I'm fighting the uh... Come on! I'm oh, stuck on a log, a brick, or whatever that damn thing is. Alright, Spider Man, come on. I think we're almost there. Oh, yeah, we are almost there. Good. Alright, before we go in, let's make sure we're at max. Good, good, good. Um, let's see. Don't care about that. So we do have uh, our terminal power, actually, which is um, defeat ape man, rescue scientist, defeat the henchman, and other things on there were defeat taskmaster and defeat mandarin i defeated taskmaster so that was taken off the list but um we could actually try and complete that one of these days too all right let's go in here and take care of this yahoo how many things spider-man's gonna make it? There we go, we got some help, that's good. 23 seconds left on our respawn for that power. We'll get him down to just a little bit of health left, and we should be able to take him out with that. Uh, our little signature power. I do love the little signature power, it's. I was gonna give up on this character. Oh, there's a unique. Look at that. We got a unique out of nothing so far. Alright, time for our signature power there. Trick or treat, baby. Yeah. And we made it to level 42. Let's just see what we got here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Looks like we got another unique there. And we'll get to check these out here in just a second. Alright, let's see what we got. So, we got some spirits. Revive allies. This is artifact. Um, oh, so we got a unique for Daredevil. Which we don't currently own. That's like the second or third one I've got for him, though. Um, and looks like we picked up a new quiver. Hmm... So we'd gain one rank of all of the archery powers. We'd lose a one of wave of arrows. We'd lose two actually, and we cost us um, less spirit, less spirit recovery. About the same defense though, so probably not as good. 
Um, yeah, that was a pretty good run for us, so we got got us some goodies, and we leveled up. So we got some points. There we go. Start putting them in here. Notice I saved a couple, so good. So, um, throw a bomb at your feet, concealing your position, you mean cleanse and become immune to all negative effects for a short duration, your next attack deals bonus damage. Uh, okay. Not sure where the hell I'm going to put that in our... I guess we'll put that, uh, oops. Gotta keep the competition guessing. I guess we'll put that there. Let's see what it looks like. And then we zap them with a three-round burst. Do some extra damage on these enemy bosses. And kill them. Done with them. All right. So let's look at Hawkeye. And um, yeah, like I said, still probably not one of my favorite. Um, just his powers just don't excite me like some of the other heroes. The one power he does have that I really like is his Claymore turret. Um, What's the duration? The cooldown on that was a little bit less. 30 seconds. If you can get it off every 30 seconds. That would be really good. And of course the wave of arrows is really good. It does um, 12 to 1800 per projectile. And he's shooting out 9 of them. So uh, it's a good group. Take care of different groups. And of course if you have your bosses. This does some pretty good damage. So we got 4 to 6000 times 3. Um, because there's three of them, and it does an extra 40% against bosses and elites, so, <coughs> not bad. Alright folks, well, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time here on Marvel Heroes.